Hi, today we are going to learn how can we find key through the closure property and functional dependency. In the last class, we have studied Armstrong axioms and using these axioms, we can find the closure of a particular attributes. So what is key? Basically, we use three types of key. Some other keys are also available. Super key, a set of attributes that uniquely identifies a tuple within relation. That is a super key. In the last class, we have studied what is key. A key if it functionally determines all attributes in R. And if it is minimal, then we take it as a key. So any key who functionally determines all the attributes of particular relation, that is a super key. Candidate key is minimal super key. The minimum length of super key can be candidate key. And the primary key, one of the candidate key you can choose for the primary key. It's mean it is a super key. Then the candidate key would be a subset of super key. And one of candidate key would be a primary key. Let's understand the closure. How can we find the key using a closure? Attribute closure. Using Armstrong's rules, reflexivity, augmentation, and transitivity. There is a relation and it has five attributes A, B, C, D, E. And the functional dependency of attributes are A function determines D, D, B, B determines C, and E determines B. So, what is the A closure? A closure means all the attributes that can be determined by A. So, by reflexivity, A determines A itself, A determines D, D determines B, so A can also determine B using transitivity, B determines C, so for A closure, C is also a part. Uh, now C does not determine any attribute. So A closure is A, D, B, C. But A closure does not functionally determines all the attributes of relation. So it cannot be a key. Next, D closure. D determine D itself using reflexivity. D determine B and B determine C. For B closure, B determine B and C. For E closure, E determine E, E determine B and B determine C. And for C closure, C determine C itself. So any attributes closure is not able to determine all the attributes of relation. So these closure cannot be a key. Now if we see A closure, what is missing? E attribute is missing and E attributes is determined by only E. So if we take AE closure, so we can find all the attributes of relation. So A E closure can determine all the attributes. So A E can be a key. Similarly, A E C can also determine all the attributes. So 
this can also be a key but minimal super key would be a candidate key and in the candidate key we can decide a primary key so this can be a super key and the because it has a length 3 it has length 2 so it can be a candidate key and it can be also primary key so this cannot be a key for database designing purpose now functional dependency for a key so if there is a relation r it has attribute a b and c a determine b and b determine c if we find a closer we can see a determine a using Armstrong axioms reflexivity a determine b and a determine c using transitivity so a can determines all three attributes so a can be a key there is another technique through which we can decide which attribute will be a part of key and which attribute will not be a part of key in the functional functional dependency we have to divide all the key in the three part the key which are only in right which are only in left and which are in both the side so in this functional dependency a is only in left b is right and here in this dependency b is left so b is in left and right side c is only in right so only in left side if there is some attributes it always be a part of key part of key and this attribute which is in left and right both the side this may or may not be a part of key and if attribute is only in right never be a part of key when we say part of key it means candidate key I am talking about candidate key or primary key let's take for this example Functional dependency A, B derives C, C derives B, and C derives D. Let's divide into two parts, three parts, L plus R and R. Only in left, A is only in left. B here in left, here it is in right, so B is in L plus R. C in both the side, D is only in right. So if we take A closer, a closer only drives A. So this cannot be a key. Now we are going to combine A with B and A with C. A B closer. A B closer using reflexivity A B determines A B. A B determines C C. C determines B. C determines D. So A B closer determines all the attributes of relation it has four attributes so it can be a key now let's check AC closer AC closer so C determines B C determines D so AC closer is also determines all the attributes so AB closer and AC closer would be a key it's mean AB and AC two candidate key and according to database designer one key would be a primary key so this is closer property of attributes and finding a key thank you